Are you ready for a jump scare? <laughs> we are off to the pumpkin patch. You speak in parcel tongue? Hey guys, we're at Disneyland. Are you ready to do a craft? Perfect. That looks great. So this, like I said earlier, is from World Market. Some Christmassy bits. Not a bountiful harvest, but a beautiful one. Hey guys, happy Monday. It's my birthday week. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Milo is currently having some lunch. We just got back from a morning of errands. I went to Trader Joe's this morning and I also went to Aldi. Um, it was kind of, this drives me nuts about Aldi. I don't know if it's just mine or are these all Aldis. You speak in parcel tongue? But I go back for things and it's no longer there, even though it's like an Aldi brand. Maybe mine is just like super picked over. I don't know. But I did get a whole bag of goodies for $30, it always blows my mind. So I thought I'd show you what I got. I'm trying to find a tripod. Well, I have a tripod, but I'm just trying to make one. This will do. So the reason I went is because they have a bunch of fun Halloween stuff. Hi, Hi. he's just staring at me. Eat your food, eat your lunch. Can you eat? Sure. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> he started answering questions with sure, and it makes me so happy. Hey, what's your name? Mom. That's new too. Um, so I went, they had like Halloween fun cheeses that I wanted to buy. They didn't have them. I also did see the Halloween pizzas on TikTok. I wanted the pumpkin, but this was the very last Halloween pizza in the store, so I picked it up. We'll just pick off the olives, because none of us like olives. But it's a ghost-shaped pizza, how fun. I got some mini quiches. I love mini quiches so much. Trader Joe's has them, I think, only in the winter time, but they're not out yet if they are coming, but we'll give these a try. Got some bagel chips, which I did rip into on the way home. They are delicious. I love a bagel chip, who doesn't? Now, I've been looking for these for a while. Aldi's knockoff of like Pasteroni, the Angel for Pasteroni is my favorite. This tastes exactly the same. Not great for you, but delicious. So I bought two, is the only two they had. I have, they haven't had it the last two times. They had Red Lobster Biscuits for like a dollar cheaper than Target, so I picked up a box. I got these for Bradley, little peanut butter pumpkins. They're milk chocolate filled with peanut butter. I'll eat them too, but Bradley just loves peanut butter chocolate things, so I got those for him. We also saw this on TikTok. Dessert hummus, sea salt caramel. I don't even like hummus, but I'm gonna try this. It says to eat it with pretzels, apples, graham crackers, or by the spoonful. Hi! I got Milo the cutest little book called Skeleton Shake. It's one of those texture books. Um, and I'm pretty, I'm not like picky about the books I get him. It just has to be a cute, fun book. And this one was really cute, teaching you how to dance like a skeleton. More book? Okay, one you're done eating. And then I got Milo a bunch of these pouches. Apple sweet potato. I try to get the ones with hidden vegetables in it because he will just suck it back. Mango, apple, banana, avocado, kale. And these are all organic too, and they were on sale. Apple, banana, blueberry with oat and flax. Apple, pear, and broccoli. Pear, mixed berry, beet with flax. You want the purple one? Okay. Okay, it's a bit later now. I am making dinner, but I just wanted to show you a few like newer things from Trader Joe's. Either new or they just came back, like this pumpkin gnocchi. Most all the other fall stuff rolled in, but I was waiting for this. It is so good, it's back. Bradley makes it with like a butter sage sauce and it is just so good. A very light hint of pumpkin flavor, but it's delicious. This I am so excited to try. I will try it with you guys, the sugar cookie dough. I had three employees tell me how good it was, so I am excited to try. Um, you just kind of roll it out, cut out. I'm sure there's instructions, but it's nice to have like dough ready to go. This beautiful felted wool trivet. I love my um, rainbow one that I've had from them for years. And I saw this nice oval one, which would look lovely under a platter. So they had this and then they had more like fall colors, but I just liked the maroon. I don't know if these are new. I feel like they are, I don't know. But my sister told me you have to try the teeny tiny apple pies. And I was like, I'm not really that huge fan of like fruit pie, like an apple pie. And she's like, no, trust me, just try them. So picked them up to try. And then these are the sun-dried tomato and basil chicken tenders. Sorry if you can hear Miss Rachel, by the way. Um, but it just sounded delicious. I'm about to fry, not fry, but like pan sear some up for dinner. We're having this Caesar salad and some baked potatoes. So I am excited about that. Um, we'll let you know how it is, but yeah, I just wanted to give you a look at some newer things. sandwich it was delicious we're about to go into california adventure but we're gonna go do philhar magic see if we can get a buddy pass for monsters inc i don't know if they'll let us because there's technically three of us um, but we're going in california adventure first <laughs>
Calling you to the while you're in town, be sure to We interrupt this program for a special report. A child is on the loose in Monstropolis. A human child! If witnesses are to be believed, there has been a child security breach for the first time in monster history. We can neither confirm nor deny the presence of a human child here tonight. <laughs> We are in Disneyland now. We're guilty of it too, of like everyone our age that has a child, whenever they do something like go on a date, go to a wedding, it's always like mom and dad do this. <laughs> it's like we're nothing else. We are mom and dad. But parents. Milo Man is napping. And I was just telling Bradley, the last three trips we've come, we've brought the, um, I'll show it to you when he's not napping, but the Hatch Rest Go, I think it's called, the little $35 mini one. Incredible. I will link it down below. But he's napping. We came back over for the parade, but there is no parade until later. We also needed to get out of California Adventure because oh yeah, the the, uh, the boo bash was boo starting. Bash was starting and we showed up. Great. That's not what it was called, Oogie Boogie Bash. But um, I, I don't gonna know gonna what we're gonna do. Booty. <laughs> the booty bash. What should we do? We can't really do anything while Milo's napping, so we're just gonna walk around, Let's I guess. Have some coffee. Okay. Where would you like to sit? Jelly Holiday, Trader Sam's. Don't care. My arm's tired. Bye. All right, we just got out of the parks. We're at Napolini, you can't see. But here, yeah. pizza. I got a margarita and Bradley got a Californian. Yeah, like a barbecue cilantro chicken. only on half because I hate cilantro in case I want to bite. Milo's snacking on whatever. Bless you, buddy. We just saw great moments with Mr. Lincoln. We're gonna eat and get out of here. Bless you. Hi guys, just wanted to pop in really quickly to thank the sponsor of today's video, which is BetterHelp. I have worked with BetterHelp many times before, hoping to work with them many times again because I love therapy, I love promoting therapy, and I think BetterHelp is a really cool way to go about your therapy if this interests you at all. So basically, BetterHelp is an online therapy resource with over 20,000 licensed real therapists. It's real therapy you're getting just on the internet. I love BetterHelp because A, I think it's getting therapy across to more people. It is available to you worldwide, wherever you are, which I think is so cool. And B, it has a lot of options. So if you're somebody that going into a therapist's office kind of scares you or makes you more anxious than you were before the therapy, I think BetterHelp would be an incredible option because it has options. You can do your therapy via webcam. That's how I do it. You could do it just over the phone if you're not in the mood to be seen. And you could just do it over message if you're not in the mood to talk or be seen but you're still getting therapy, you're still getting help, and I think that is awesome. And I also think it's really cool because, for instance, my therapist lives in New York. Without online at-home therapy, I wouldn't be able to see her. I can't drive to New York to go to therapy. And so I think it's a really cool way to pair people with people that might be really great for them, but not in a drivable distance, if that makes sense. If you decide to sign up, you'll take a quick quiz just so BetterHelp can get to know you a little bit better, what you're struggling with, what you're looking to improve, and that way BetterHelp can pair you with somebody that they think can help. If for some reason you're not vibing with that person, you can change therapists at no additional cost and BetterHelp will do all the dirty work, which I love. I've had to break up with a therapist before and it's really awkward, so let them do it. <laughs> World Mental Health Day was this month, but every day should be Mental Health Day. And if you are just even thinking about starting therapy, I really love therapy. I think you should do it if you're ready and BetterHelp is there for you when you are ready. And with my link, which is betterhelp.com slash Amy Lynn, you can save 10% off your first month of therapy, which is awesome. Therapy at a discount. I will have the link and info and all that listed down below if you want to revisit. But yeah, therapy has totally changed my life. I know it's a busy time of year. We're coming into the holidays. We're coming into winter, which can be a hard time for a lot of people. So if you're thinking about therapy, now might be the time. And so when you're ready, BetterHelp is there for you. All the info will be in the description box. Thank you again to BetterHelp for sponsoring this video and thank you to you for watching my videos so I get really cool sponsors like BetterHelp. Now let's get back to the vlog. Riveting stuff in the vlog, I'm sure. Let's get back to it. <laughs> Oh 
you gonna pick that? You wanna put your hand on? We're gonna twist. <laughs> Not a bountiful harvest, but a beautiful one. These are perfect. I have quite a few things to harvest. Plus, I don't know if that cantaloupe's gonna be any good, but something's eating its way through one side, so I'm gonna pick it so we can try it. But, that we do a little harvest. By the way, this is all the radishes that we chaos gardened. This weird cucumber is like way past and won't be good to eat, but I don't know if it ever was, but we'll pick that. Isn't that the most beautiful cucumber you've ever seen? Lots of love happening over there. <laughs> Hi, cutie, go get daddy. Oh. That's too far. That's too far. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this. Usually when people have weird cucumbers, they give them to their chickens, but I don't have any chickens. So we'll just put that in the compost. But I wanted to pluck that because I do have lots more cucumbers growing in. So as long as it's gonna be a little sunny, which it is, um, hopefully we'll get a few more cukes. This pear plant has majorly slowed down, but I do have a few. So much for a relaxing harvesting video, huh? Little, you are ruining my life right now and my video. I'm ruining your life? No, not you, the dog. We have a San Marzano tomato ready, which I haven't harvested one of those yet. And then a Roma tomato that's blushing. So I'm going to pick it and take it inside since the bugs are crazy. I've got this big blonde bell pepper we're gonna pick. That's a good one. Our last blonde pel bl mm -mm. our last blonde bell pepper was really bitter, but I think it's because it wasn't done. So we'll give that a try. We also have a blonde snacking bell pepper ready. Gorge. We also have a few jalapenos. I love picking jalapenos. It's so satisfying. These are juicier than our usual ones. Oh no, I picked off a baby. Dang it. But we'll try to use these this week. Ready? Go get mom. <laughs> no, we're not running with rocks in our hands. Bye. Bye. Go. All right, so this is the cantaloupe. It started turning orange, but it wasn't done with its like netting. So I never picked it, but maybe now it's like bad, but something's eating its way through it. But it does look like a cantaloupe inside. Oh, came right off. How exciting. Good morning, you guys. Today we are off to the pumpkin patch. We are at Underwood Family Farms. Came here last year, we loved it. I've actually been several times since. We came for their Christmas festivities, we came for their Easter thing. If you live like anywhere, it's like deep in the 118. A little bit of a drive, but so totally worth it. You do have to pay to get in, and there's like things you can pay for with tickets and whatnot, but there's still plenty of free things to do, and it is awesome. This sounds sponsored, it's not. It's just, it's great. It's a great pumpkin patch. I'm amongst the pumpkins. And I couldn't be happier. I think Milo and Onyx are doing the maze. So cute. Here's Bradley. How's it going? Almost there. Great. And there's my Ani. Hi.
Hey guys, happy Saturday. First of all, I tried that, um, the new Etude, Etude Day, Dear Darling tint in the strawberry shade that I got today, and I'm so far really enjoying it. I put it on three and a half hours ago, and it is still just very much there. But, hi, hello. <laughs> this morning I was out running errands. I mostly just had like annoying things to do. This is a long boring story, but I'll tell you anyway because I think you guys like my long boring stories. <laughs> Basically yesterday I got an email from World Market saying you have $5 in rewards and it expires tomorrow today. So Milo and I go to visit Bradley at hockey. We're already out and I'm like, hey, let's just pop into World Market, see what's up. What was up was lots of incredible Christmas stuff. So many good things. I was like, okay, $5 off, you know, whatever. So I load up my stuff, I'm checking out, I'm going to get the coupon and my phone dies. <laughs> they can't get it any other way from than from the email. And she was like, well, if you come back tomorrow, we can price adjust and whatever. And so that's what I did and thank goodness I did it because I also found a 15% off coupon I could stack with it for my birthday. So I saved $15. Basically, I mean, you know what I mean. By the time we like reloaded everything and checked out. Yesterday I spent 60, today I spent 44. Maybe I'll show you a sneak peek of some Christmas things. I also, while I was out, finally got my hands on the Lush pumpkin mask. You guys, I don't know why this thing has been, I have tried so many times to get this. It's always sold out. And considering the nightmare it was last year, I don't know why it keeps, like I, it wasn't in stock. Apparently they reformulated it this year to be thicker, to hold its shape more, and apparently you can use it more than once. Once open, this mask can be reused for up to seven days. Just wrap it back up and pop it in the fridge in between uses. So that's cool. We will try this later tonight, but I, f I have been trying so hard. I finally found it. Yeah, just a typical Saturday around here. I ran some errands. I also went to Old Navy to do a return. It was an exchange, but they didn't have, <laughs> I'm just full of boring stories today. It was an exchange, but they didn't have the shirts I got in stock in the size I needed, but I didn't want to like return and repurchase because I, between deals and coupons and whatnot, I got each of the shirts. They're like just Christmas shirt t-shirts for me for $4. And I was like, I don't, I need this. And she was like, no problem. I can do it for you online and have it shipped straight to your house, free shipping, whatever. Incred. So I made this town my bitch this morning, basically. Now I've just come down to eat a little lunch. I want to film a reel, a shelf Sunday, and maybe I'll sit down, show you a little bit of what I got. Hey guys, so a little later on. Don't know how this is going to go because I didn't get this done during nap time. And there's a toddler about. But I did want to show you what I said I would show you from World Market. <gasps> Boo! <laughs> Do you want to come help? Help. Help. How about you? How are you? Oh, you? That's nice. You're asking them how they are. I'm good. How are you? We're going to show them what we got, okay? So this, like I said earlier, is from World Market. Some Christmassy bits. I'm so sorry for the Christmas early. I am going to do a yeah. Christmas haul. So this will just be quick, quick. I was, I was trying to say quick and brief and I said quick. <laughs> this will just be quick and brief, but I did want to share just a little. They had so many garlands. I got this super cute one that says be merry. This one was like very anthropology-esque. Cake. 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 So yeah, it's just fun with little pom-poms at the end and little polka dots. The receipt, thank you. And then I got this felt garland, which is just felt stars. <laughs> thank you. I wanted these last year and didn't get them, but these, <gasps> do you like them? <laughs> yeah. I you do? But they're just like candy cane striped taper candles. They come in a set of three, which I thought was cool. It's $10, which I thought was steep, until I learned it was a set of three. Uh, yeah. On to the ornaments, some felt ornaments. I'm all about the felt ornaments. I learned last year with a toddler that felt ornaments at the bottom of the tree is the only way to go. Two mushroom felt ornaments, pink and green. These were like two for six dollars or some sort of deal, so I got two of them. What's this? Yeah, He's say, that's how he says watermelon. We got this cute watermelon, which is so cute. I just could not pass it up. You made me an egg? That's so nice. Mmm, thank you. You made it yummy. Yummy, it was yummy. Thank you. More. Oh, you want me to eat some more? You got it. And a smoothie to wash it down? Perfect, thank you. <laughs> and lastly, I got this little felt candy cane. I love this so much. I don't even know if this is felt. It's some sort of like fabric, but it is so cute. So that's what I got at World Market. Okay, are you ready to do a craft? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're going to make a painted pumpkin. We're going to take our thumb, dip it in paint, 
and do a thumbprint and then make ghosts out of it. Can you say ghost? Ghost. Okay. Okay. Watch mommy. You're going to take our thumb, dip it, place it. Is that cool? Perfect. Perfect. That works. Are you ready for a jump scare? <laughs> so I just filmed a reel of my thoughts on this. If you want to check that out, it's on my Instagram and on my TikTok, Amy Lynn Butchin. It did stay intact this year, but if you want to know if I think it's worth buying, go check out that video. Oh.